I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. As you can see, we're going to talk about the one and only Soka legend, Marshall Montano. Marshall Montano was born in Carinage, Northwestern Trinidad, and his family moved to Separia, Southwestern Trinidad, when he was very young. He attended Separia Boys RC School, then Presentation College, a prestige secondary school in San Fernando, where he, where he was in the choir. Marshall first shot of fame at the ages of nine years old with the song Too Young to Soka. While he was still in primary school in 1984, along with his older brother Marcus and his neighbors, the group Spranasonic Express was started, and in 1989 the band became ecstatic. In April 1986, at the ages of 11, Marshall Montano appeared on the mainstream television show Star Search. In 1987, he took part in the Trinidad and Tobago National Songwriting Festival where he placed second with the song Dream Girl. He also won the Caribbean Song Festival in Barbados, becoming the first Trinidadian and youngest contestant to win this competition. So as you can see, people, Marshall Montano was very talented at a very young age. As you can see, at nine years old, he came out with a song, Too Young to Soka. And at 11 years old, he win a lot of mainstream so festivals, songwriting festivals. So people, Marshall Montano is an icon to Trinidad and Tobago. One of the greatest to ever step on the stage with soca songs. Till this day, Marshall Montano still stands as the face of soca. One of the greatest. He outshined many soca artists with his style delivery and the way he makes song. Women go crazy just to hear the voice of Marshall Montano all across the world. Marshall has took soca to another level, to places that soca may have never reached for many years. Marshall still stands as the face of soca. Anytime somebody says Soka, the first name that comes to mind, Marshall Montano. Marshall Montano is the front man of the Soka band, the HD family, and is noted for his high energy and fast pace and often unpredictable on stage performance in 1987 he was the youngest finalist to ever win the caribbean song fest steve well. his career spans more than 30 years he is now standing as one of the most well-known soca artists in the world using his leverage as the artist able to sell out shows recently he has moved to los angeles area to further his pursuit saying i may not be the one to bring it forth but in the meantime i have a lot of work to do in order for somebody or something to happen he is very well known in new york city where he has sold out concerts in Madison Square Garden many times. Marshall Montano is the sixth time international Soka Monarch winner. So people, as you can see, Marshall has took Soka around the world many times. He has stand behind Soka he lives and breeds soca. He made Trinidad so proud many times with his music. When you look around the world, you see Marshall winning so much awards 
that many soca artists today is dreaming to win. Marshall has done it. Marshall has collabed with many big name artists in many countries. Jamaica. He has collabed with people like Shaggy. People like Mr. Vegas. And a lot more. Even people in New York City. Like Pitbull, the rapper. Rihanna. Ashanti. Hood Celebrity. French Montana. And also people from the Caribbean. Such as. Destra Garcia. Farmer Nappy. Patrice Roberts. Bungie Garland. Shensia. And many others. Marshall stands as the soca greatest. Marshall is what Beanie Man is to Jamaica. Beanie Man is the dancehall king, and Marshall is the soca king. I know we have a lot of different talents in Trinidad of great soca singers, but Marshall stands out. No matter how many countless songs he made, he made many hits. I would say 99% of his songs, all, were great hits. Some would say it's 100. Every song that he makes is a hit. Marshall has poured his soul and life and every breath into soca music. Or National Song of Trinidad. Or Sweet Soca. When Carnival time comes. Marshall is sure to bring. A great vibes. And a great song. Through the music waves. Of the radio stations. Marshall can attend any. Show. And it will sell out. Marshall is a icon. And I just want people to know we got to treat him as a legend as he is. He has worked very hard. Name some soccer singers that have been doing it since they was a kid. This man been doing it ever since he started walking. Marshall Montano has shown many countries that Trinidad ain't all about just the crime. We have sweet music. We have beautiful women. And we have a wonderful island. And plenty talent could come from Trinidad and still come from Trinidad. Marshall Montana has hold the banner for Trinidad and Tobago in soca music. And I just want him to know that we're proud. Trinidadians are proud of you. Many kids are looking up to you and said, I want to be like Marshall Montano. Many kids that has inspiration to become soca singers, R&B singers. The first person they could say that motivate them to follow their dream and believe there's a way. The first name come to mind, Marshall Montano. People, I'm just bringing this to you. Because I believe every country, if it's Jamaica, they stand behind the artists and they make stories like this to highlight the artists. And we in Trinidad need to do the same. We need to highlight all winners, all great artists, all great musicians, all great footballers, runners, and etc. Trinidad have talent. We just need to dust off the dust and let them know we believe in them. Marshall Montano stands as one of the best thing for Trinidad. One reason why people loved soca music, Marshall Montano brought that spark. Marshall Montano 
is one of the biggest reasons that we kind of out is number one. Double M. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Hey. Drop in a side, let it like Angla me, Angla me, Angla me. Like, subscribe, and share for the hot topic.